Hi guys, this is Mark Filler. In this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of API Services Engine, which is a component of the Back Analyst platform. It is by far the most exciting part of our system that has absolutely fantastic capabilities. In the essence, it gives you an ability to take arbitrary code, which would be either in Java or JavaScript, and turn it into a service. And now there's a new addition to sort of the family of languages that we support within API services engine, which we call Codeless. And with Codeless, you do not need to know any programming language. You use a visual environment to compose the logic for your services. Regardless of the language or language-less, which is the Codeless system, the idea is that we provide a system where that makes it super simple to take code and turn it into an API service. And when that happens, your code automatically gets REST API and we generate nati native SDKs for Android, for JavaScript, for iOS that you can use in a mobile or web application to communicate with your service. And the SDKs that we generate, including the REST API, is extremely intuitive. So for instance, if you have a method, let's call it hello world for the simplicity's sake, in your code, then on the client side, you would still be invoking hello world. And if it has some arguments, whether they are complex types, arrays, primitive values, then you would be providing exactly the same types of arguments on the client side. And then the service is automatically scalable. It will be uh, uh, scaled out from the deployment perspective. So there is always uh, uh, an instance of that service available, even if the traffic to your service spikes up and there are a lot of clients invoking that service. So our system automatically replicates that code through our, throughout our clusters and then um, the, the availability of the service is always going to be super, super high. Security of the, of the API services is built in. Using a very intuitive interface, you can assign permissions for various users of your application or security roles and specify what role or what user can or cannot invoke individual operation of your service. Whenever those invocations happen, Backendless automatically keeps track of those invocations and you can go into the analytics section and see a uh, history of the invocations of your service at the method level. You can see if there are any errors thrown or how many success calls were made and you can see how many uh, different types of clients invoked a particular method. So if you want to know how many iOS applications uh, invoke a specific uh, method of your service, you can easily get, in, get that information from the uh, analytics charts. Also, Developer Console, which is part of the Backendless Console, gives you an ability to test drive your services right there. You can actually deploy the service and start invoking it without writing any code right from the Backendless Console, which is an extremely powerful feature. You can impersonate users. So for instance, if your service implementation uh, assumes that there is going to be a logged in user whenever an invocation takes place, you can impersonate a user within Developer Console and make those secure invocations and just see how your service works and what the response values are. It, it, is, it is an absolutely wonderful feature. Whenever you invoke a service, creating a CURL request or request in some other languages, is also automated in the part of developer console. So you can just take that CURL command out of the console and run it uh, from a terminal window, for example. Organization of all the API services is done in a way where you can see all the services and it will tell you whether they are JavaScript, Java, or Codeless. You can see a list of all the methods and then uh, test drive them as I just described. So it's a super powerful system that gives you an ability to centralized your business logic within API services running from backendless. If you are developing in JavaScript or Java, you can actually develop your services either locally on your developer computer, uh, or if it is JavaScript, you can actually do it right in developer console. Whenever you do it locally, we provide a utility called Code Runner, which is really a container where your code runs. So for the local development, we give you an ability to debug your services right from your developer workstation, but they would be plugged into the backendless infrastructure. So whenever you start a local debugging ses session, your code is going to be running 
for the services right on your developer computer, but the services will be listed in developer console, which means you can start test driving your applications by sending them to Backendless and Backendless will route them back to your developer workstation where you can set breakpoints and step, uh, step through the code and see what the parameters are and just do your line-by-line -line debugging. If you develop with JavaScript, the same is true, you can do it locally, or you can actually edit your code right in Developer Console. You can create new files, you can, uh, they could be rather complex. One file can import some other file, it's all in, done in the Node.js environment but edited in our console, and you can deploy it right from the console and see your services becoming live right there without downloading anything, all done online within our console. So it's a very powerful system, and what makes it infinitely more powerful is that you can take your services, whether they are created with Java, JavaScript, or Codeless, and you can package them up and deploy into Marketplace. And when you do that, you are sharing that service with anyone else who uh, is developing with Backendless. So if you, you can start creating general purpose services that do something useful, publish the marketplace for free and then very soon for a fee, and thus creating your own products that are listed in our marketplace. So it's, a, it's an extremely exciting and very powerful part of our platform. We're very happy to have it uh, because it really makes Backendless a very, very unique system. Uh, API Services Engine is a part of Backendless Cloud, Managed Backendless, and Backendless Pro. So all our products include that component of the platform. So hopefully uh, you got an idea of what API Services Engine uh, component of the platform is about. Uh, you can register with Backendless Cloud and try it out pretty much right away. There are very easy to follow getting started guides to kind of get an idea of how API services work within Backendless. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them to our support forum, support.backendless.com, or our Slack channel, which is slack.backendless.com. We'll be happy to answer any of your questions. Thank you, as always, happy coding.